Hello friends and uh, welcome to Prophetic Suite again. My name is um, Abdul Yakubu, and today we will be talking about uh, the word in the Bible and precisely talking about um, the Bora. Um, here in Russia, we call her Devorah. <laughs> Funny, right? But anyways, um, Devorah is uh, someone in the Bible who, I mean, if you've studied the Bible and kind of, you know, um, found interest in understanding who she was, her role as a wife, as a prophet and a judge, and how she has really impacted um, Israel and the development of what God was doing in Israel as at that time and of that year. So um, I would describe De Deborah as the following, as an extremely righteous and praiseworthy woman uh, she is described as a teacher because she taught um, in the bible we're going to dive down to the bible um, to the bible verse where we saw that she was teaching the torah to people people came down to her to learn to understand what actually was all about what god was doing and um you know she was teaching people from different nations from different places that were coming down to a place called uh, the palm of deborah actually that is to say uh, the palm of deborah is not practically her palm but the seat of deborah as a george in israel then so people came all over together and i believe there were people but men and women it really you know uh, didn't have to uh, worry it matter about the gender they all came together to learn from her because she was teaching people and they learned a lot from her now um continuing also with uh devora there are strategic things she's done in the bible that makes her very prominent also if you read down the book of george i think it's verse, uh, chapter five where she had a song she wrote with barak it was a song of praise praising the lord over the victory uh from a battle that she helped uh the king then uh the ruler then to um win a battle um over the enemy is there that God has already given up to them so um, a little thing about um, Deborah Deborah as a wife as a wife uh, she started making weeks and selling at the temple actually her husband she made them her husband uh, took it to the church to sell at the temple there he was selling it and um, what made what made the week which was making kind of very uh, interesting and uh, different from others was that she made them very thick and, and you know she was a wise woman uh, she made them very thick and um the, the light didn't go out the candle wax didn't burn out easily um you know it it was it was special and that actually made her husband prominent because he made good money out of it and he got himself into a place where you know he probably wouldn't have thought he would be so he was more like the elite in the cities you know a businessman from there i wanted to throw more light into it that um she was a woman of wisdom she had wisdom on set even before she became a judge or she became a prophet test or we call prophet uh, before then she was wise because she knew how to do things how to make things happen let us go down straight up to the Bible. I think in the book of, let's go down to the book of George chapter 4 and verse 3. Uh, now, um, it said, as I then, the Israelites uh, were worshipping idols and God delivered them into the hands of Caesarea, right? But then, uh, I think one of, the, one of the things that really happened then was that due to the teaching of Deborah, um, the Israelites, in some ways, they stopped right because then as a then Caesarea was ruthlessly oppressing Israel so um there was a change you know but God has already delivered them spiritually but there was a physical deliverance that was going to take place and this is what um the, the book of George says in verse 3 in chapter, chapter 4 and verse 3 once they repented he sent them Deborah and Barak who redeemed them right so um the time that they repented god now sent barak and the borrower to them now this is what happened in the jew in the book of judges chapter 4 and verse 5 um she was sitting um okay i'm just gonna read it down now uh she was sitting um under the palm of Deborah, which is her office as a judge, between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites would come to her for decision. So she wasn't only teaching, she was also helping them get a decision. Now, you need to understand that as a then, she already knew and understood she had the calling or the gift, I would say, of a prophet because she saw things, she was counseling people, more like, you know, um, word of wisdom was counseling people. Now, in um, George 4 and 6, 
She summoned Barak, son of Abinom of Kadesh, in Naphtali, and said to him, The Lord God of Israel has commanded, Go march up to the mountain of Turbo and take with you ten thousand men for Naphtali, from Naphtali, of Naphtali, sorry, and Zebulun. He has told Barak in the book of Judges, chapter 4 and 6, that um, God has summoned him to go and, t and to, to war, that God was going to give him victory. This is what Barak said. That is what Barak answered now in verse 8, saying, But Barak said to her, If you will go with me, I will go. If not, I will not go. Then she said, answered, Very well, I will go with you, she answered. However, there will be no glory for you in uh in course, okay, in the course you're taking. For then the Lord will deliver Caesarea into the hands of of a woman so Deborah went with Barak to Kadesh now let me bring a little light into this a little um, explan um, um, explanation onto this now you have to understand that Barak was not saying he wouldn't go or he wouldn't win the fight or wouldn't win the war without her even without Deborah I believe that Barak would have won that war because there was a prophecy that was being released already and the prophecy did not say that Deborah had to go with them in fact she didn't know she had to go with them now this is um this is a moment of respect honor you know what the bible says when you honor a prophet you receive an of a prophet's reward right so barak was doing that out of a prophet out of a honor of her position as a prophet regardless if she was a woman or not i believe that even if it's a man who said that he would say the same thing first of all secondly you have to understand that uh, deborah as a teacher then she had authority and for people to see someone with authority standing by Barra going into war was a hundred percent support in whatever he was doing and now she said um Caesarea uh, will be delivered into the hands of a woman now um from what i understand here it wasn't that uh uh, she meant or was thinking that way it was kind of uh saying what people would say it was what people would say and i love the reaction of barak or at least what we have in the bible written recorded in the bible he did not comment on that the next thing he did was to get his ten thousand men and go in with her now uh barak did something very interesting and i'll make i'll make a com I'll, you know I'll, I'll bring a comment onto that if you read downwards towards uh, i think it was in um um, verse i can't remember the verse there then when they were already at the at warm but uh, deborah now said to barak up i mean get up this day on which the lord would deliver Caesarea unto your hands the lord is marching before you barak charged down mountain of tabor and then his 10,000 men followed him and they won the war. Now, what is it? You see, if you check in the book of the, uh, in the, in the Old Testament, most of the kings or practically all kings went to war with their uh, prophets. There is even a record which says that when Pharaoh was going against the children of Israel, his prophets went with him. So, um, Barak knew and understood what it was for that support of a prophet to go along with him into battle. And at that moment, you know, sometimes you need someone to charge you up. Sometimes you need someone to give you a point of view from God. And at, at a certain moment, she said, this is the time. This is the moment. Because he went into the war, but without knowing where the moment was, the exact time that something was going to happen. But when she was with him, she said, Barak, get up, rise up. This is the moment right and then he went in at the right time with the right place with the right people and he won the war so what is then the lesson that we will get from here what is the conclusion i'm making out of it barak a leader knew that he had to respect and honor the position of a prophet regardless of who she was uh, secondly she was like a voice of god with him in the battle right and that really helped in you know um getting things done easier faster and with less casualties uh and thirdly i think um the wisdom 
of 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 the bora as a wife that made her husband rich you know she brought wealth into her family i think somewhere in the book of um if i can remember i think i wrote that down wrote this down somewhere yes in the book of proverbs chapter 14 and verse was one the wisest of women builds their house so she was a wise woman and she built her house she established her house but i want to you know um conclude this with a positive note that um women played a real and great part in uh, the history of israel and the history of you know all that god has done and today is we are seeing the same thing happening uh we would see more and more of that coming up. we'll see stronger and stronger women coming into ministry that can also and will also play parts in bringing about uh the gospel and um you know bringing god into our communities uh thank you so much for watching this um video thank you so much for this you can share you can subscribe the more you share the more you subscribe and like the more people would see this if you want to see the previous video about hilda you can also do that i think it's going to pop up somewhere here and um that is it god bless you and hey please write down your comments your questions i will be so glad to um communicate and interact with you have a nice day god bless you bye